Sorry about what I said at the box. Calling you a thug. Yeah. Can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. You protect? There it is, Mr. DeWitt. Now we just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. And just call me Booker. Think. My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. <laughs> A man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Do it. Now! All I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Open it. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Appreciate it. Oh, 
your true rival is an expert with the automata. Wants to replace all our security with machines. I'll give the old boy credit, though. It would be fewer mouths to feed. <laughs> The Lord judges I am. Catch Booker. Much obliged. The prophet is not without mercy. interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people were killed to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. the way down. I had thought you a fool, dear brother, when you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air. I began to doubt your mental integrity, but not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well.
Look, Chen Lin, cell number nine. Can you open this, Elizabeth? Keep a lookout. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? When I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Done. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. You know you can hear us. You want to say something? water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. <sighs> to be locked up in a place like this. Fink don't need much of a reason. But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? Got a lock, needs picking. I'll give it a whirl. All done. Oh. Can you open this? This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. All yours. Do it? You're a liar. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it? Not hyenas!
too late. God damn it. This is what he meant. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Who the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Okay. This is becoming rather awkward. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? <laughs>